Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Candy Box 2 with Lone Debater 7. And today, we're just going to be taking a look at what I got from doing the underwater cave mission. So, I actually was able to finish it this time. It only took one health potion. I got lucky on the monster spawns. Um, but basically, we got a lot of loot from completing it. So, as far as equipment, we've got a magician hat. Enhances your magic. And we got a pink ring of calmness. It'll help us recover faster after the quest, so we should be able to do quests a lot faster now. In addition, we got two new maps, one to the Wishing Well and one to the Anvil. So I want to go to the Wishing Well first. So this is what it looks like. Throw a candy in the well. I will grant you one wish, so choose carefully. Multiply by five. Multiply by eight. I think I'm going to do the lollipops. Kind of seems to be the best. We've got 89,000, so multiply by eight. Boom. So now we've got 717,000. So if we go to the Sorceress Hut, we can get faster candies and we can get this more candies. So let's just take a look. Uh, looks like we're doing five candies a second now. Um, I just want to see if this actually increases it. 777 candies for 300,000 lollipops. Like that seems like a rip but okay um no worries not a big deal um outside of that let's go take a look at the forge go to the forge there's an anvil sharpen your sword using the anvil enchant using a health potion um sure you now have the sword of life this powerful charm will drain the life of your enemies to regain yours oh that's kind of cool so I guess when we use this, um, every time we hit someone, it'll give us a little bit of health back. Let's go to the Sorceress Hut again and see. So now we can upgrade our sword for 60,000 to level 2, and then it's 170k to do it again. So now it'll drain more en energy and heal us better because it's a level 2 health sword instead of a level 1. Um, cool. So that's kind of where we're at as far as... Um, you know, completing that underwater cave was actually really useful for us because it unlocked two new locations. If we go to the wishing well, I guess you only get the one wish, so that's fine. I think we spent it fairly well. Um, you know, getting those lollipops allowed us to do quite a bit. So what I want to do while we're here, let's go ahead and just try the next quest. I'm going to buy another health potion and I'll maybe eat some more candies um i'm just waiting for it to hit like that so 58 50 candies eaten we'll see what that does for our health we were at 157 so i mean hopefully that gave us a little bit so we got 167 instead so not too bad so we're taking these guys out there's a knight so it looks like this one kind of just spawns enemies and then teleports you back that's kind of annoying uh, we're we're going to use the escape. Did we get away? Or did we die? Uh, it looks like we got away. But we don't keep your... Okay, so I wanted to see if using an escape potion would let you keep the candies or not. It doesn't. Um, so you can't metagame it, unfortunately. Uh, but that's alright. Um, what we'll do... We could try another underwater cave. Now that we've got our life sword, I mean, this should be a lot easier for us. And this one does give you a fair amount of candies as well. So we do have one health potion just in case, you know, we need to pop it or something like that. But I think we're going to be all right. As long as I've got 80 or more, I can beat this whale. No problem. So there we go. We got a thousand candies for doing that mission. So that's pretty good. All things considered. Um, there we go. 7302. Oh, we're doing five a second now. I forgot about that. Okay, cool. I'm going to maybe eat up to 10,000 candies if I can and try it again. So we still have 80 seconds before we can do another quest. Not too big of a deal, but really getting this sort of life was super helpful. Um, I mean, to upgrade it again is the cheapest option, so we'll probably do that for sure. Um, maybe that'll help us be able to do the castle quest is my 
thought. I don't know. We'll find, we'll see if that's actually the case. But anyway, so we're generating five candies a second, hundred lollipops per second. We've got pretty good equipment. We've got four maps. I think there's probably another four maps and another four pieces of equipment. Um, I don't quite remember. I know back when I first played this, I did get all the way through the game pretty much. Um, but I don't remember, you know, what the rest of those inventory slots are going to be filled by. Um, with that being said, we are doing fairly well, um, all things considered. I think I'm going to take this up to 8,000, uh, and then we'll try again on the castle quest, just because that that's kind of what we need to do is keep completing the quest, because I think once you do the castle quest, uh, you'll... Well, A, you'll unlock the next quest in the chain, but we'll probably get some more equipment, some more maps, and unlock more of the game content. Uh, so that that's kind of the trajectory, I guess, for our little series here, is we need to get strong enough that we can do the castle entrance quest. So hopefully this won't take as long as it took us to get through the underwater cave. I mean, I could do that again to generate some more candies, but... I kind of want to wait and see if 8,000 candies eaten is going to be enough for us to handle it. I, I kind of have a feeling it will be. We just got unlucky because the castle shoots out that little asterisk looking thing and it teleports you back to the end. So um, that doesn't, it, it means you basically have to fight more guys. So we do have a health potion and we could use the acid rain scroll potentially, but let's try castle entrance again. Cool. He's getting through Berserk Potion to speed it up. Cool. That worked pretty well. And we did that. So 938 for this. We finished the quest. So now we've got Castle Stairs as the next one. Awesome. Um, so we got the Castle Entrance quest done today, as well as the Underwater Cave before we started recording. Went to the Wishing Well, went to the Anvil. Um, to get our sort of life and upgraded it once at the sorcerer's hut next time we'll probably upgrade it to sort of life level three uh, once we have the lollipop count that we need and may i mean we can take a look and see if we can do the castle stairs or not um with just the equipment we currently hold uh but let we got another minute before or 30 seconds, because it looks like that ring decreases it by two instead of by one. Um, so not too bad. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and wait and try the castle stair quest before we finish up um, for today's episode and just see if we can handle it. We probably won't be able to, is my guess, just because we only just barely did the castle quest by using a berserk potion to, you know, run through faster. Um, it it kind of depends on what types of enemies we have to fight. But if we can, I mean, we're at 9405 candies eaten, so our health is doing a lot better than it was. And we are ready to go. Um, I'm going to get this to 9500, I think. So, 95, 9500 candies eaten. Let's give it a shot, see if we can handle the stairs. So we've got 181 uh, health. Oh, Jesus, okay. These guys are strong as hell. Uh... Okay, um, yeah, we won't be able to do that. Interesting. So he summons ghosts and dead stuff. That's that's a pretty tough one. So next time we're going to try the castle stairs again. I think what I'm going to do is wait until we get the lollipops. We only need another 15,000 or 14,000 now in order to upgrade the sword to level 3. And I think if we do that, it will help keep our sustain a little bit better. Um, but guys, if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always, and until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see you.